Welcome to the Incident Response Center. You'll be in charge of directing teams of volunteers as they perform search and rescue operations through the Aussie bush. For each rescue operation, you'll be given a map with the current location of each of your volunteer teams. Each crew will be able to search a specific proportion of the map, which is shown at their location with either a fraction, decimal or percentage. This 50% crew, marked in purple, are quite experienced and can search half of this map. However, this blue team in the south can only search three tenths of the map. Your job is to direct these teams so that every square on the map gets searched, so that none of the search areas overlap, and so that every team searches the exact proportion allocated to them. Also, every search team needs to be able to access firewood and water during their search. So to start, you might look at a team like this three tenths team down here. And before they start searching, you need to work out what, how many squares of this map they can search. So if they can search three out of every 10 squares, we look at this map, there's 20 squares on it. So three out of every 10 would mean six out of every 20. So you could do it like this by searching the map. And if you did it in this way, you'd leave a square blank in the bottom left that couldn't be searched by another team. So we might not do that. We might actually uh, decide to search that bottom left square instead and not search the one next to the 50% crew. So then they could search that. And then we'll look at the 50% team. They can search half the map, which is 10 out of the 20 squares. So we can choose to search them by clicking through here. And if we do that, you'll notice that there's a tree cut off on the right and we can't search that tree because if we do, the 20% team won't have firewood. And so at this point though, they can't search it because they'll have to overlap. Your other role will be to recruit and train young people to perform the same tasks you do. They'll need a high level of mathematical skill and the ability to convert between fractions, decimals and percentages. But the beauty of these puzzles is that it's done naturally instead of taught as a standalone subject. The other thing they'll need to do is be able to determine how many squares each search team can search in each situation. Now, one strategy is to look at the smallest team first, the one that can search the least amount of space. This is not an always solution or strategy. This is just a strategy that works some of the time. Because these are novel problems, there's no one set formula that will work. And even to find out the amount of area that the team can search is not a set formula because you can solve it in many ways. So if you look at the example that's just popped up, the smallest team is the 0.16 team here. They're the one that can search the least amount of space. But there's a lot of methods to try to find out how many squares that is. So the first might be to recognize that 0.16 is 16%. And 16% means 16 out of 100. So if we look at this map that we've got in front of us, there's only 25 squares there. And so if a kid recognizes that 16 out of 100 is the same as eight out of 50, which is the same as four out of 25, they'll be able to do it in that way. You might show them, I wouldn't do this straight away. I'd get them to experience and play around with different methods first. Uh, the, the formal way of doing this, 0.16 times 25. Now again, I would probably hold off on this one until they're comfortable finding fractions of a quantity. Method three could be uh, to recognize that each square on this grid is worth a certain percentage. So if 25 squares is 100% of this map, each square represents 4%. And so to get to the 0.16, we just count up by 4% till we get to 16. So 4, 8, 12, 16, so four squares again. And then the final method is if you get stuck on one you don't know, you can find the rest that you do. And then whatever spaces are left over, that's how much that last team must search. These puzzles involve an enormous amount of mathematical skill, as well as critical and creative thinking, because there's multiple solutions for a number of puzzles. You can access a range of search and rescue scenarios online at games.thinksquared.com.au or download free printable maps at thinksquared.com.au slash rescue. You can also use this link to purchase the full printable training module for $10 or subscribe to access the full online training module and an entire suite of maths games and puzzles for as little as $2 per student. All the best training your crew.